BSO, three of them. The guitar by itself. Okay. That didn't, didn't sound too bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, it didn't yeah. sound bad at all. Uh, drums by themselves, right there. No, that's right on too. Okay. Try the organ. Try the organ. Maybe. You don't mean the answering part. Dun, 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 dun. No, can you play it again? Yeah, play it again. Play it again. Okay. Stuff going on. Start doing it. I got the idea of Goodbye Media Man from singing that chorus over and over. I liked the way the words sounded. Goodbye Media Man somehow sounded uh, musical or pleasant or something to me. I'll bet you you'll hear them at home now. The melody, you can't really explain where it comes from except that in an inspiration or in a flash or something, you hear a lot of music in your head and you finally put it to words and then it becomes a song. But this time I wrote the words first I sat down with a typewriter, actually, and I uh, started, I typed out the chorus, Goodbye, Media Man. I looked at it, and right away, because it was in print, uh, I believed it. <laughs> right here again, then I'll take the voices out again. See, that's just that little chant thing. Oh. <laughs> and I may take it out right in here feeding that we're fed information that they want to feed us and that uh, sometimes the truth never gets down to the people. In my opinion, they're non-committal, which I think is wrong. And so I was basing my song on that feeling. Play it a little bit. We'll get a good balance and we'll make a tape for you and tape for me. We'll have something to uh, okay. listen to again. From the time I was about 16, I'd always wanted to make a whole record by myself, you know, play all the parts and 
write the song, do it like the whole thing, uh, like conceive the idea and then carry it all the way through to the end, you know, do all the parts. And uh, as I got into that in the studio, I finally decided that that wasn't really what I wanted to do after all. And then one night I just happened to go over to Keystone Corner. Merle Saunders had invited me over to hear him and uh, Bill Vitt and Jerry Garcia. And uh, within a week I was up on the stage with him <laughs> and uh, playing with him. And, and then at that point I decided that was uh, the kind of music that I wanted behind the song. It was within about three days that uh, the thing came together with Merle. Seconds. Give us a chance. 